So we're given this arithmetic series. So it starts with negative 22 and you keep subtracting 3 a bunch of times. And they want to know the sum of the first 12 terms. Now this one's not so bad. If I were a teacher, I probably wouldn't assign this because you could go just out to 12 terms and you could just add them up and you'd be done. Um, so if I were making this problem, I would probably make it like 122 terms so that you couldn't just write them out and add them up and be done. Uh, so we're going to do this the long way. But if, if my gosh, if, if I were a student, I would not blame you for just writing out 12 terms and taking out a calculator and punching it in. But we're going to do this with the formula so we can get used to using it. The formula says that for an arithmetic sequence you can get the sum of the first n terms by taking the average of the first term and the last term. So adding up the first term and the last term and dividing it by how many terms you have, that average, and multiplying it by the number of terms you have. Kind of makes sense. I like it. So we're like, okay, yeah, I want the sum of the first 12 terms by taking the average of my first term, that's negative 22, and my last term, which is, aw, oh, crud, I don't know it again. So we're going to go find it. So if I, so remember we have a formula for the explicit term. You only need to know these two formulas, and the formulas make sense. We're going to write them out every time. We're okay. So I can get any term I want by starting off with the first term and adding my common difference n minus 1 times. So if I want my 12th term, I'm just going to start off with the negative 22 and add my common difference. So basically subtract 3. And I'm looking for the 12th term, so I'm going to subtract 3 11 times. So negative 22 minus 33 is negative 55. And so we've got negative 55. And then times the number of terms, I have 12 terms. So the average of my first term and my last term is that. <laughs> and then I'm going to have 12 of those. I'm just going to reduce that and just do negative 77 times 6. My calculator tells me that's negative 462, and we do match the answer, and we are happy. Excellent.